the first time, I want to say like a, a huge, like well done to all of you for being here. Like bearing witness is never an easy experience, but it's a powerful experience. And when you come and you see these animals in their moments, their last moments, and you see that fear in their eyes, it does something. It, it strikes a, a spark inside of you, that determination, that fuel, that urges you to go out there and fight even harder than you did today. Every one of us should bear witness and see these animals at least once to feel that spark and fire inside of us and recognize the obligation that lies in each and every one of our shoulders that says that we are the ones who bear the responsibility to spread this message and to help save the lives of the animals that are not yet born into existence. Now, I think it's important that when we see these animals, we say sorry to them. And we say sorry to the ones that are in the truck in that moment, the ones who are heading to the slaughterhouse, the ones whose lives are gonna be ripped from them mercilessly. But we must also say sorry for all the animals that died for us before, because for nearly 21 years of my life, I've consumed animal products. And for nearly 21 years of my life, I paid for these trucks to be full. And the screams from inside these trucks were caused by the money that I gave perpetuating these industries. So for all of us who weren't born vegan, we have an obligation to say sorry for the animals that died for us before, and not to ask for forgiveness, but to say sorry and to say that we are trying and we are doing everything we can now to make sure that in the future, no other animal will suffer in the same way as the ones who are alive today do. We have that responsibility to push this message and do every single thing that we can to make sure that we fight on behalf of those who have a voice, but whose voice is silenced and whose voice is ignored by these industries that are violent and deceitful. The only thing that we need to do is spread the truth and have the empowerment and courage and voice to do that. These industries operate under lies and violence and we never sink to their levels of despair or brutality. All we need ever do is show the reality of what these industries do, show the lives they destroy, and show that there's another way to live, another and better, more ethical, more environmentally conscious, and even healthier way to live. All we have to do is show these animals as the individuals that they are, the sentient life forms that they are, who are conscious, and have emotions, and their own unique personalities, their own unique behaviors. All we need to do is help people see the brutality behind every glass of milk, every piece of egg, and every piece of meat. That's all we need to do, because these industries, they fear the message that we have. They fear the voice that we have, and they fear the change that is coming. And these industries should fear us, because every single day, our numbers grow stronger and our conviction grows harder. And we will not be stopped. I promise you that the world that we want exists on the horizon. But when it exists, it's up to us to decide. Every single day that we stand up and we speak up and we fight on behalf of those who desperately need us is a day where we bring the when of a vegan world closer. Every day that we sit back and we pretend that this violence isn't happening is a day where we push that when further. So if we want the world that we so desperately seek, a world where violence towards animals is no longer considered normal or acceptable, then that responsibility lies on us to bring about that change. We are the ones who know the truth. We are the ones who have the voice to speak that truth, which means that we are obliged, morally obliged, to speak that truth at every single opportunity that we have. There's an analogy that I like to use that summarizes this perfectly. And the analogy goes, there's a blind man walking down the road. And at the end of the road, there's a hole. Now on the other side of the road, there's a man who can see who's watching the blind man. If the blind man falls into the hole, it's not the fault of the blind man, it's the fault of the man who can see and says nothing. We are the ones who can see. And those consumers who unconsciously shop are the ones who are blind. And if they continue to shop and end up falling into that hole, it's our fault for not speaking up and making the peril more obvious sooner. This is why we must speak, because we are the ones who are aware. We are the ones who know the reality. We are the ones who listen to these animals. We are the ones who recognize these animals. So when we see those pigs tonight, tell them that you recognize them. Tell them that you see their suffering. Tell them that you are doing everything you can to fight to end their suffering. And those pigs may not understand you. They may not hear you. But when you speak it, you feel it. And when you say it, you commit yourself to it. And we should all make a vow tonight and every day that we are going to spend the rest of our lives fighting as hard as we can. Because this is a battle that we must all face. And it's not a battle of violence. 
It's a battle against ignorance and apathy. We are the ones who can spread that peaceful message, that compassion, the message of justice and tolerance. We are the ones who are obliged to do that. So make tonight the night that you vow that from this day on, you will fight with every breath that you have and every second of life that you are given. Because if you do, then the world that we so desperately dream of, that world, that vegan world, will happen sooner. Every single day, it will happen sooner. So please, when you live here tonight, let it be known that that is not the end. That is the beginning, the beginning of a new era, a beginning of a new thought and feeling inside our own body and inside our own minds. Please live here tonight feeling fiery and devoted because it's not easy to turn our backs to this slaughterhouse. It's not easy to go home and pretend that life is okay because it isn't. But when we do leave, remember the pigs that you saw tonight. Remember the fear in their eyes. And when you feel nervous or anxious or you feel like you don't want to go to an event, remember the look in their eyes. When that conversation could be had, remember the look in their eyes and speak up. Because if it's us in that truck or us in that slaughterhouse, we would expect those who claim to care about us to fight for us. And if we would expect that for us, then the least we can do is do the same for these animals. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you. Go vegan, people. Go vegan. Thank you.